AI. It's going to be someone collaborating with AI. Like AI will not make you obsolete. People collaborating with AI will make those that aren't obsolete. And we sort of saw this. So I got quite excited. So we tested out a couple of things. We tried out um, uh, Moonbeam and Copy.ai. And I sent a couple of videos to you, Ben. And as someone who's not in this space, when you saw them and maybe you tried it as well, what did you think of it when you saw what was actually possible? And maybe explain what was done as well in those videos. Yeah, I was blown away. So, so Berg's basically was typing in some topics. For example, if you did a podcast on like, you know, Bitcoin, right? And he sort of just gave this AI thing some ideas or topics we wanted to talk about. And there's this AI literally spat out a bunch of different facts and talking points and discussion points around the key topics we wanted to talk about in like 10 seconds. And I was like, what the fuck just happened? Like, yeah, it's like a human went and did all this research and just sent back exactly what we needed to make a video in 10 seconds. That's the only way I can explain it. And I was like, what on earth? Like, and it was not bullshit. It was all accurate, like, like, accurate like quality information and where my head went was like oh my god this is going to like completely innovate how content is created like this is better than what it most you know most humans could create right in 10 seconds and that's today and the way we did it was we had five different points we put it in there and we said one was like fiat currency is collapsing press the next button and it it establishes your five points are you sure this is what you want great click next and then it comes out, fiat currency is collapsing. And it gives you reasons like people don't trust governments. They have overspent. This will result in rising interest rates. All of these points and you're like, holy crap. So it takes you from 10% to about 80%. And then you've just got to put you know, your flavor on top of that. And for it to get that context so quickly with some of the stuff we were putting in there, especially around Bitcoin and crypto, I was quite amazed. I thought it would be horseshit because I've seen a lot of these before. And this was, this was pretty good. I was impressed. So I was speaking to a graphic designer last night and we were speaking about AI. And she told me a dirty little secret that this graphic designer now not only, now doesn't have to draw 100% of the graphics she does for her clients. She draws around 10% of the graphic yep. designs and then she plugs in and tells the AI bot what she wants it to create in terms of colors, textures, and she just gives it a little snip snapshot of what she wants it to create. She hits the go button and it literally does the work for her. She said that within a year, she thinks there will be no graphic designers. Dead set, right. she reckons it'll be gone. All right, let's go. We go, Ben, you've done it. We're going in deep now, mate. That's it. <laughs> you hit the button, you, you hit the trigger, mate. All right, let's get into this. So this is phenomenal because we've got a lot of technology that's starting to do all of these things and there's some great ones i've been following some brilliant people on twitter just quickly the technology behind this uh gpt3 is kind of um i think it's by OpenAI, uh a deep learning module to produce human-like text so that's like you write something you write 10 words and you want to create a blog post it'll do that kind of thing for you content creation and the more you use it the better it gets because it learns and it understands what people like because you give it feedback you give it a stimulus saying yes this was good no this was bad and eventually it starts to give you more and more of what you want two other things are stable diffusion and dali so these are things that create so basically really nerdy researchers came up with these things they worked on them you know in universities and on the internet and now they've released them to the public and because they're released to the public people are starting to create companies around them so what these what dali and stable diffusion does is you can create images from text. So you could literally say Elon Musk on the moon driving a Tesla and it will make the photo for you. And it'll make it within 10 seconds. All these photos are unique. And depending on the model, you can actually own that photo. So two brilliant applications I've seen of this. Uh, one is called stockai.com. Um, and this is by an awesome guy called Danny Postma. And I love this guy. So uh, I don't know him. I know him indirectly through Shiny. And this guy, he lives in... So, brilliant guy. So I'm pretty sure he's 30 now. Lives in Bali to reduce his cost of living. And he runs about eight SaaS companies. And he's just a solopreneur. So he'll sit there, he'll code something up, and away you go. Even when we were playing like um, with Ericsson, we had... Um, uh, 
magic like with the nfts and stuff you had to quest every single day like every eight hours you had to click stuff and do stuff he just like nah send it to me and he wrote a bot and he just sends the money your way like he's he's a weapon so he created stockai.com and what this is he's created a business business model around stable diffusion where you can go there and think about the moment you've written a blog post or you've done something and you want an image you have to go to that bloody shutter stock or whatever you have to type something in you have to search you have to click on the one you have to pay for it you have to crop it now you just type bloody 10 words and it creates the image for you or you copy and paste the blog you've just written and it creates the perfect image for you and it is it is absolutely incredible he's just hacked this he's hacked this together in a week and the, the other one that I've used, which is incredible, is uh, Levels IO. So this guy's an absolute lad. He doesn't fuck around. Like this guy, he's built so many companies. He uses old programming languages, and he instead of doing a business model, doing this, doing that, he's like, I'll just fucking code it up in five days, put it on the internet, and see what people say. This one is interiorai.com. Interiorai.com. You take a photo of your room, Ben, with all your shit in it. And then you upload it here and you can click, I want bohemian style, chic, this, that. It removes your furniture. It'll leave like your bed and whatever you want to leave in there. And it'll change all the furniture in your room and it looks like the furniture is in your house. 